Welcome back, this is Doug with Break Tech, and we are just kind of in the ending stages of our tic-tac-toe application. We're going to clean it up a bit, and by that I mean fix the CSS. Um, so we're starting with our app component. Uh, we're going to go to app.css. We're going to add some styling to the container and to the, the items inside. Um, so let's go ahead and go into our app.css, and we'll go ahead and I'm just going to style the button really quickly. Uh, I'm just going to say display block. Oops. Uh, I'm going to say I'm just going to center it with a margin zero auto. And I'm going to add a little margin to the bottom. Of like, I don't know, 10 pixels. Uh, then we're going to use the container div, and we're going to go ahead and give that a width of like 950 pixels, and we'll go ahead and center that as well. And then we have our menu item, and we'll go ahead and do text align center on that. And we'll go ahead and give that a width of 90%. This is based on my previous styling, just to give it a better look. Uh, so then fix that. So it already looks better. Now we need to work on um, doing something about the uh, doing something about the game board itself. It's kind of elongated and um, stretched out. So let's go back and see what we can do about that. And I think we'll probably want to go back into the tile CSS. What we got here, width of 30%, height of 150. I wonder if we should just wrap a container around that guy. Hmm. I do things a little differently this time around, so. Oh, I see what I did. I uh, what I did on my original is I um. I just used my root div, the one that we injected all of our React code into. I gave that some styling. I just I just centered that root div. So let me go ahead. And I guess it doesn't really matter where we put it. Probably index.css would be the most appropriate place. Um, so we can just go ahead and say that ID of root of margin zero auto as well. And that should center the whole game board. Uh, but it did not. Let's see, I'm going to make sure I'm importing the index.css I'm surprised because I thought I thought that I had centered the container Oh, I did. <laughs> I'm not typing well. Let's see if that fixes it. There we go. So there we have our final product. Let's just give it one last go. Oh, we didn't we didn't fix everything. Let's go ahead and inspect that and see where all this padding and margin is coming from. So it's coming from our paragraph. So what we want to do is take all the margin and padding off that paragraph for um, what is it for all the tiles so we'll pull that back up go to our tile.css and we can say all 
the paragraphs in tile.css, we want margin zero and padding zero. And that centers everything. Uh, last thing, just for kicks, let's go ahead and change our announcement.js to um, announce like who's won. Uh, so we can just say, uh, we can put a paragraph under this actually, and just inject here. And it's not the prettiest thing, but it'll at least let us know what's going on. And we've already passed the uh, the prop in, so and we we were making use of it for the class, but that was it. So we can actually game over X wins, which is yeah, a totally terrible announcement. <laughs> Here, let's put. Oh geez, I guess if we want to do this correctly, we can just say I'm not really supposed to put logic in these um, to like test for something. The ternary operator is fine, um, but inside of a render function, you're not really supposed to put a bunch of like if if statements and whatnot. I'm, I'm not even sure. I don't think it works. Um, so I'm going to leave it at that. Um, so let's just see what that looks like. Yeah, so X wins. We reset. Let's see what happens if O wins. O wins. Okay. And then if we have a draw, make sure I don't accidentally win for X. Ah, oh, I did accidentally one for X. <laughs> oh, I did it again. All right, well, this isn't going well. <laughs> I can't beat myself. All right, so go O. Uh, X can go here. O can go here. X can go here. O can go here, X can go here. So there we have a draw. And the draw is just the, the letter D, but I think that's fine. All right, guys, this has been Doug with Break Tech. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, stay tuned. I have been working on the AI. I have the code working. I just haven't incorporated it into the React application itself. It's, uh, on a, um, it's on a separate application that's just a console application. Uh, but if you enjoyed this, please click like, and I will make sure to get those videos out. Thanks for watching again. Uh, this is Doug with Break Tech.